Hi guys, my name is Chaney. Some of you might remember me from my previous campaign for a graphic novel called Forearms. Due to the overwhelming um, support from the community, I would like to start a second book called Death's Footsteps. Death's Footsteps follows the character of Young Death, who is in training to take over his father's place. He is out one night practicing his death march when he accidentally snares a mortal girl. Hoping to rectify the situation, he decides to take her as his bride and he brings her into the underworld. She meets Father Death, she's put to work, and along the way meets the members of Death's family. As a storyteller, I find inspiration in the darker, older fairy tales, um, the ones that Hans Anderson wrote and Andrew Lang, these stories that had deeper meaning to them and they had these psychological elements so that nothing that you saw on the surface was really what it represented. Death's Footsteps is an adult story that deals with archetypes, symbolism, and metaphors. One of the characters that the bride meets in the underworld is Grandmother Death, who lowers her through the mirror of dreams. I loved the underlying strength of her, and though Death rules the land, I wanted to show that the women in the story play an integral part and are is just important. Actually, without them, no souls could be recreated and given new personalities. Death's Footsteps is illustrated by the very talented Jill Colbert, who also goes by the name Man Fish Inc. I originally had been drawn to Jill because of an illustration of hers I had seen years before of uh, her character Death. And when I saw the character, I knew that I had to work with her. She just immediately already knew the, the character. It was like she would already read the story and already met them. She has this one of her processes she does where she inks everything beforehand, um, traditionally on paper, and then she brings it into the computer and adds extra elements digitally on top of it. And I loved how that this reflected the, the land of death, where there are these different layers, these different levels, different realms, different universes. And I love that these were reflected in, in Jill's actual um, illustration process. I purposely write my stories pretty bare-boned so that the reader's subconscious has some room to play, that their imagination can kind of go in and fill those gaps in the story and really make it personal and help it come to life. You know, because there are archetypes and there's symbolism in the story, it can mean anything to anyone where you know, death can be this scary, looming figure who's trying to control the bride. To somebody else, he's this very tender and gentle father-like figure. One of the questions people ask me most often is, are your stories for children? And my response to that is, it really depends on the parent. <laughs> but really, no, the stories are, are not for children. They are told in a style that is very simplistic, but I'm really writing the tale for the inner child in the adult. Death's Footsteps for me is about when you're put in a situation and it may not be something that you thought was going to happen, but you decided to make the best of it and you learn things about yourself and gain talents that you never knew you had. With such a positive response for my first book, I knew I wanted to come back to the Kickstarter community instead of doing the traditional publishing route. Money raised will go to cover the illustration cost and publishing cost, as well as supplies for the books and materials. Thank you for anything that you can contribute. Every bit helps, whether that's financially or just sharing the link below.